Good morning. How are we all doing? Happy Saturday and all that. Right. I don't know where to put myself in the chat on on this screen right now because I've not. I've literally just bought the game. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing I did was turn the music off because, well, it's a little bit definitely copyrighted. So I've turned that off, as pleasant as it is. Um, but yeah, I'll have to get the overlay right when we get going. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're going to go into career mode and hope for there's a tutorial or something. Build and show your dream PC, free build. Okay, right. Let's do it. New game. <clears throat> How are we all doing? All had a good week? Local fire. Suspicious. Pups! Pups did it. 100% that was pups. Welcome to PC Building Simulator 2. It's a new day and a new shop. It might not look much, but it's all you have since the old one mysteriously burned down. Read the note from Uncle Tim to find out more. What do you do? Well, you know you like setting fire to things, mate, right? I blame you. Totally. Kian, thank you for 37 months. Coffee Wars. Nescafe. Nescafe is the best. You need to get out more. <laughs> Dairyland, thank you for 58 months. Squirrel is another 61. Gamer Core with 38. Brian I with 68. Bob with 13. Lucky number 13. Harm 27 with tier 3. 77 months. More to come. Thank you very much, Harm. Mr. Bolly with 14. Night Gaming with a tier 3, 24 months, not 23. It's just 24 for me. I suspect the badge will give it away, Night. If you got a, a newer badge, maybe. It says 24, weirdly, for me. I don't know. Anyway, let's click continue. Oh, God. Didn't expect that. Whoa, what is that? There we go. That was like snapping. Can we go outside? Oh, you scumbag. Kind of wish we could go outside. That'd be awesome. Real pizza place. Diner Beard? I want to go to Diner Beard. I want to get a dynamic beard. Chicken Emporium. Hazel's what? Hazel's something... Confectioner, is that? I can't read that. Bob... Thank you so much, dude. Thank you for gifting 10 subs. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much for your support. If you got a sub, please give me a thank you. Thank you for the school gifts. Appreciate that, Bob. Al from, thank you for three months. Ponta Boy, 19. Hello, everyone. Just going to alert today. Had to uh, switch a flat tire on your Scania. So I'm quite sore, as I did by myself for the first time. Lol. Okay. GG. Bit too fast. 97 months. Thank you, sir. Super Hour 15. J Bone, 23. Thank you, guys. Diner Beard. Yeah, no, I don't know why. I really want to go to Diner Beard. I'm genuinely curious. Did this sound like dynamic beards that change color? Clearance sale. Is this our shop, then, do you think? Why does it keep... Why does it keep doing that weird... It's all right now. Every now and again, it was doing, like, a weird stutter. Mr. Harm27 has also gifted 10 subs. Thank you very much, Bob and Harm, for gifting 20 subs this morning. Welcome, guys. Noel, thank you for 53 months. And Slackjack, thank you for a year. Let me have a look around the back here before we start picking up that letter. There's actually very nice detail. Like the texturing is really well done. This genuinely looks like a rundown office. This is this is pretty awesome. Guess this is like a store. There you go. You see that? Like content loading stutter. The heck? Whoa! This is a mess. This is going to take some serious work. Exit. That we can't exit. Okay. Blimey. This is pretty good, actually. I like this. <laughs> it's our own little workshop in the back. Fantastic. Let's see what Uncle Tim has to say, shall we? 
Thank you for the bits as well, Bob. Uh, do you run major scams in the back office? Um, th this is where we... Um, this is where we... Uh, yeah, we, we can't really discuss what we do back here. But we make good money from it. Let's just say that. Anything else? I might be uh, incriminating myself. <laughs> El Plagiato, thank you, 55 months. Uh, 55 months, great number of great nuts in the night. Thanks for great streams. Thanks to the mods for all the love and thanks to the community being great all the time. Appreciate that, dude. Thank you. And um, um, thank you, 38 months. Oh, God, Uncle Tim. So I guess you've seen the old shop or what's left of it. Sorry I wasn't there to take the edge off the shop, but I've got a meeting with the insurance company to discuss the fire. Apparently, they think it might have been deliberate. What a crazy idea. Anyway, it's lucky I had this old place to stand by. I managed to rescue the PCs I was working on before the fire. I've moved them all here. You still need to fix them and collect the money for the jobs. If the customers need the smoky aroma, if the, if the customers question the smoky aroma, tell them you had to solder something. <laughs> what? <laughs> I also knew you'd need a shop computer, so I've sent one of mine over. It should have arrived by now. Check the delivery area at the back of the workshop. Fair warning, it doesn't work, but it might just need a new GPU, so I've sent one of those over too. The best money can buy. Sure. Anyway, get it fixed up, plug it in, check your emails, you're welcome. Oh, and I mentioned that I had to borrow $15 this morning for a breakfast. If I've learnt one thing in life, it's never meet the insurance agents on an empty stomach. Uncle Tim. Let's get started. Walk over to delivery boxes that wait in the workshop, left click to pick them up. Okay. Those then. Uh, we'll be up to Ryan Craig. Thank you for a tier three, Ryan. 45 months. OJ was 17 months. And Nico, thank you for 200 bits. Uh, no worries, dude, Nico. It's, uh, it's that time of the year. Mental health and all that. Hope you're well. Uh, is our character Steve Hobbs? What do you mean? Stove Hobbs. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, NVIDIA, RTX 3080. That's the one that doesn't set fire. Is that is that correct? I can't remember which one sets fire. We'll take that one. Maybe that's how the last place burned down, actually. Maybe that's what happened to Tim's old shop. Maybe we got a 4090 down there, and it ended up setting the whole building on fire. That would explain it. Maybe it's doing some cable testing. Wow, an NVIDIA RTX 3080. Let's not ask how Uncle Tim managed to get hold of one of those. Now, you just need a PC that you sent. It should be delivered in the corridor. This is where the PCs are, cases are delivered, and where you need to place the PC for customers. Wow, how high does the hype train go now? Uh, wow, what? I never knew it did that. Blimey. D-Storm, thank you for a thousand bits, sir, and pushing that hype train up to... Levels I've not seen. I thought it only went to five levels. I thought it's... Since when did it go to seven? I... New to me. New to me. Thank you, D-Storm. Um, that is quite a nice relaxation area. Why is my phone... Alarm going off. Like a random timer. One second. I don't remember setting a timer for like 11.15 in the morning. What's all that about? Weird. Uh, Henderboss, 56 months. Hope all is well. Yes, indeed. Doing well. Tough week, but doing well. Tessal, thank you for 43 months. Um, the. That's where the box is. That's what I was trying to find. Thank you, Tessal. And Peter the Hobbit, thank you also for gifting 10 subs, just like Bob and Harm did. That's 30 subs gifted. So much support. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Thank you for the squirrel gifts. And Chris. Morning, Paul and chat. PC building again. I miss the trucking lull. <laughs> I miss the steam trains, Chris. <laughs> we pick this up? Right click to pick up. Okay. Left click to put down, there we go. Let's click on the case to put it into build mode. Alright. Wow, Mr. Harm dropping yet another 10 subs and smashing it into 
Hype train level eight, whatever that means. I think I broke something. <laughs> you are the best. Thanks, Nico. It's very kind. Uh, thank you, Harm, for another 10 subs. That's that's amazing support. Thanks so much. The OG7. OG7, right, okay. Left click to work on PC. I've got to remember the controls for this game. I suspect it's like the first one. Ooh. It's a bit different, though. You couldn't do that in the last one. You can actually rotate it. Rotate the camera. Scroll to zoom in. Nice. Noise. Um. Okay. B sharp. Thank you for four months. And then CHR. Thank you for 20 subs. And setting off the whole uh, clacks and that. That's, su that's super generous of you. Uh, CHR. 20 subs gifted. Thank you for the squirrel gifts. You rock, Paul. Dude. Dude. 10,000 bits gifted from Onamichi. That's at least a million pounds, isn't it, guys? <laughs> There's so many zeros. Thank you very, very much um, to all, for all the gifting there, all the sub gifting. Welcome, guys, uh, who've just been gifted subs. Thank you for all the support. Level 9 on the hype train. Uh, that's incredible. I never expected that on Saturday morning, but thank you so much. Uh, Samati, thanks for 66 months. Right, number two to remove. I wanted this game but stayed away because of Epic Launcher. Yeah, I get you. I get you, mate. D Storm, thank you for the 5,000 bits. I'm not happy having to buy this on Epic either. I looked for it on Steam and then realized it's an exclusive, but I thought, we need to play this game. So I had to buy it. I did it for you. <laughs> thank you, D Storm. For the 5,000 bits, on top of Onimichi's 4 billion. And that's 95% level 9 hammer train. Out of curiosity, does it stop at level 10? Like, genuine question, because I, I don't know. I don't know what that hype train does anymore. Uh, Bob with another 10 subs. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much. Double digit hype train. It keeps going. Okay. That's insane. That's insane. And Bryla with five. You guys are on a roll today. That's that's crazy. That's genuinely crazy. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bryla, for all the sub gifting there. Welcome, guys. If you've just been gifted a sub, refresh your page. Enjoy the emotes. You've got a month of it. You can access the Discord server. Um, yeah, welcome to the Nuthouse. Thank you so much, guys. And Zinam was 66 months. The PC is missing a GPU. Thankfully, you've just had a very good one delivered. Let's install it in the PC. With the PCI lock, okay. It is a lot like the last one, isn't it? With PCI cover. And the screw. Oh, it's a double. It's a double slotter. It must be big. 3080. bomb. Thank you for gifting five subs, to bomb. Uh, appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Imagine if Hype Train removes ads so the more community gives less ads for everyone. Well, all the ones who just got a sub, right? They refresh their page. They shouldn't get ads for a month. That's how it should work, right? Yeah, there's a lot of sub bombs being dropped today. It's um, incredible. B Sharp, thank you for gifting two more. Incredible support. You have the first version of this game and never played it. We've played it a lot, the first version. We, we played it quite a bit. Mr. Tharox, 112. The German number for the fire brigade because this streak is straight fire. Dude, that's really weird because, like, the storyline of this game is that the last building set fire. <laughs> and you're on 112. Brilliant. You couldn't write it. El Plagiato, thank you for gifting a sub to Brew Hits, who's now got 70 months. And Nico with yet another 10 subs gifted. That is bonkers. Thank you so much. Mr. Elephant Head for 15 months. Right, what are we doing? Press the install button. Um, left click graphics card. Select the graphics card, RTX 3080. Yep, put that in there. Uh, left click on the install button. Removed component. Oh, I see, okay. PC, yeah, that makes sense. Put that in there, put that in there. Put 
Lighten that, lighten that. Ah, the graphics connector. Interesting. They work really well on the 4090s, I hear. <laughs> Mr. D Storm. With another 10 subs gifted. Incredible support this morning. Thank you so much, guys. And level 11, I've never seen that in this channel. Left click on the install button to access your inventory. Side panel goes back on. Four screws on the side of the OG7. I'm guessing this is basically the tutorial, right? Exit. Okay. All done. You're all ready to go. Carry it to your workstation. This is our new computer. Turn it on. How? Press P. E. Omega system. I like that faint window sound. Nick, thank you, 59 months. I will carry on the work, Nick, and I rely on you guys and your support to do that and appreciate it. NHS, thank you for 35 months, almost three years. I was working all night and way too tired. Sorry, I can't stay here today. No, no problem. You go and get some sleep. I know how you feel. El Plagiato gifted us up to Mr. Langevelt. 24 months in the night house, Mr. Langevelt. Click on the monitor. Open the app email. Oh, I have to double click. Fancy. This is where messages job offers arrive. Check it every day for new jobs. Yeah, yeah get that inbox. Select the email from Cassante at cassantivisions.uk. My name is Cassante. I'm an urban aesthetics innovator and artist. I'm currently working on an ambitious project about perceptions of danger. And I need my PC to be painted completely red to match the colour of the rest of my room. Is this something that you can do? I forgot you can paint the case, can't you? I think. I think you can paint the case. Uh, what is the aircraft model name you part own? But I don't, just to be clear, I don't part own the plane. I, I joined, I paid to join the group. The owner, there's one guy in the group who's the owner of the plane, exclusive owner. We do not own it. We just basically have a part of a group. If he ever sells it, that's the end of that. If the engine blows up, that's his problem. We don't own it. But it's a Sakata TB200. Mrs. Squirrel out spending today. No, she's just taken Doyle and Pippa for a haircut. So I might get them on, on screen later because they always look very cute when they've had the hair, hair done. They come back all nice and fluffy and white. And uh, you let them in the garden, and the first thing they do is go over to the bushes and the grass and roll around and get themselves looking disgusting again. So I'll try and show them before they do that. Kind of like a timeshare. Um, I, I guess, but even a timeshare, you actually own something. So think of it this way. Tony's the guy that owns the plane, right? And he created a group where there's like six people or eight, I can't remember. So the other, another, I think it's eight, I think. So the other seven basically pay to join the group and then pay every month. So everybody contributes every month to the running cost of the plane, which is basically the hangarage and just a general slush fund to do ongoing maintenance and repairs, right? And then if you fly it, you pay to fly it by the hour. Uh, for the spec and power of the plane, it's relatively cheap. It's certainly cheaper than hiring a Cessna. It's about as cheap as a Cessna 152 to hire, except it's a lot better. Um, a lot more reliable and a lot quicker. And you have way better access to it. Like, quite honestly, there's pretty much only three of us ever actually fly it. Very, like, half the group doesn't even fly it. It's kind of weird. So, the, you know, the availability of the plane is very good. However, I have a problem. And my problem is that my single engine piston rating expires on the 30th of November. And I've not done 12 hours in the last 12 months. And if I want to just revalidate by experience, I need to basically do about another six hours between now and the 30th of November. And looking at the weather forecast, I don't know how I'm going to make that happen. <sighs> Lesai. So, yeah. 
Now, if my rating expires, I then have to go up with an instructor and revalidate, which it may have to do, but eh. No, there's no grace period. You, you basically, if it expires, you then can't legally go and fly. You have to get an instructor and go and revalidate, which is kind of like a mini two-hour refresher stroke exam type thing. It's just easier to do it by experience, but I'm not, like, I really want to go next week and go flying, but the weather's just saying no. So I don't know if I'm going to get that done on time. But it is what it is. Sugar glad to do. Thank you for 45 months of Fireman John. Thank you for 23. Um, looking at the weather forecast, the week is not looking great. The weekend, it might be flyable. If that's the case, I may have to go flying at the weekend instead of streaming. I don't know, because I kind of need to get that done. We'll see how the weather goes. But I really need to get up there. Next week is pretty dire. There's a big storm coming in. Um, I don't think I'll be flying anywhere between Monday and Thursday for sure. But maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday will be kind. I will stream from there, lol. Well, I could, I could put somebody in the passenger seat and they could live stream it. We could do that. <laughs> Very noisy. <laughs> uh, Nico, thank you for two months. But yeah, if I want to do six hours, then, you know, realistically, I'd probably do it in two hour chunks or something. Just go out and potter about for a couple of hours somewhere. I don't know. Just do that three times and I'm done. That's literally all it needs. But I've left it late and the weather's bad. So it's my own fault. Needs one of those things with multiple SIM cards to get all the networks. Lol. Yeah, I mean, if I'm flying, I can't stream. But somebody else in the passenger seat could stream. But you, would, like, you wouldn't be able to hear us talk. Like, trying to get the audio into the stream would be very difficult. We'd have to start splitting audio leads everywhere. Um... Yeah, thank you for two months, Nico. Uh, what are we doing here? Right, paint, accept the job. Customers take a day to arrive at all the shops at the end of the day. You can view accepted jobs in the folder. Oh, I see. Oh, we've got five already. I see. The view might be nice here. Yeah. Well, I, I'll, you know, I'll see what happens as we get through the week, D22. But, you know, if, I, if I, the opportunity comes up to go flying, I need to take it, whatever day it's on. That, let, let me put it that way. Because I need to try and get that done. And I have to do it before. The, I have to go and see him on the Tuesday, he said. He emailed me back and said, you need to bring it, your license, before the 30th. So I can see myself sort of flying around on the Monday, and like the Tuesday afternoon, and just... <laughs> Going, seeing him on the afternoon, going, it's here, I've done it, can you sign it? <laughs> uh, solar panel update, silence. Um, one second, I'm not concentrating here. Solar panel, 24 of the panels are up and working, four of the panels are not. Um, I think I told you about that, didn't I? Interestingly enough, so Monday I was expecting them to phone up and tell me what they were going to do about reconnecting those four panels. Nothing happened on Monday. Nothing happened on Tuesday. On Wednesday, the accountancy department phoned me up and said, Hi, we're here to, to take payment for the install. I assume it's all done. And I went, no, it's not done. No, it's not done at all. I said, and frankly, the fact that you're phoning me up asking for money is somewhat annoying. Oh, why is that? And then I told her the story. And I basically said, your electrician left my, my system with four panels disconnected because you spec the system out wrong. And now you're phoning me up asking for money. That's pretty irritating. And she was like, I'm really sorry. I'm just in the accounts department. It was marked as completed. I said, well, it's not completed. I said, if your electrician's marked them as completed, you need to go and have a chat with your electrician because he knows full well it's not completed. Four of the panels are not connected. So... Why don't you go away and then tell me what you're going to do about it? And that's how we left it on uh, Wednesday. And I've not heard since. So that's quite cool. I can't wait for it to... Honestly, I can't wait for it to kick off. I am looking forward to it. Right now, I've got 24 pounds working, and I've not paid them half the money. And I'm totally looking forward to what they're going to do. Because I said to her, I said, you should have specified two 5-kilowatt inverters, not one 8-kilowatt inverter. That's what you should have done. That's what your sales guys spec'd out, and your tech team has signed it off, 
and your electrician has turned up and said, it won't work. So why don't you go and find out why that's happened? Oh, I'm, I'm well up for this. <laughs> I'm well up for this fight. Meanwhile, on the battery front, finally managed to get through to Sunsync at the end of the week, and they've asked me to fill in all the details about the battery, which I've sent back. So um, hopefully I'll progress that in the next week or two and try and get that battery sorted. Garage called you up the other week. It was like you haven't paid for the tyre change. And I said, yes, I have. I haven't heard anything since. Did you pay for it? Uh, D Camel, thank you. 41 months. Buccaneer down with uh, 53. Thank you. Uh, Nico, thank you for two months. Fireman John, 23. Sugar Glider Dude, 45. Well, I think the hype train ended on 11, which I've never seen before. So thank you so very much to everybody that, that contributed to that hype train, guys. Thank you so very much. Brilliant. It was at your bank. Yeah, well, just show that, Just send them a screenshot of your payment. You'll be fine. Um, it usually means they've put the money in the wrong account. That's what it means. Like they've received it, but allocated it to the wrong customer, maybe. Objectives, remove viruses. When you're ready, begin the job. Right, it's going to remove a virus. Let's see how we can do. Customers need a virus scan. Uh, where do we go with this? I'm lost in my old room at the moment here, I think. There we go. Um, can't we just boot it up? Click to begin work. You need to use a USB stick loaded the virus removal tool. Luckily, you have one in your inventory. Right, okay. So, install tools, USB drive. Oh, God, we have to collect all this stuff. Wait, what? We seriously have to connect all these leads. Maybe that's like a skill upgrade I can get later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I thing is, Knight, I, I played it so long without having to do that that I'd forgotten that that was even a thing. Double click the virus scan. Of course you've got viruses. 168 files. What have you been doing? Exit. No, I'm going to get my... What are you doing? I want to get my stick back. What do you mean, exit? Dude, I can't... Let me remove... Remove. Stupid game. Shouldn't be telling me to do that, should it? Um, oh, delivery is through here. Right, okay. Ready to ship. Collect. $120. We charged $120 to put in a USB stick click scan viruses clean and then put it back in its box $120 honestly that should be illegal that's just like it just blows my mind they could have bought their own antivirus for a lot less than that Black Friday they could probably get it for like $20 and done it themselves that's cheap no it's not that's not cheap Water cool GPU. Uh, I'm currently water cooling my PC to cope with the temperatures here in the forge. What? But I'm nervous to do GPU myself. It seems very complicated. Could you please water cool my GPU and set up the loop for me? Oh, that sounds fun. Wait, I just got teleported. The heck? How can they have a missing pipe? Customer wants to water cool the GPU, add it to their existing water cool loop. They need to remove the GPU and add a GPU cooling block okay now we really are becoming dave uh, what's that okay pci lock do you know what i don't think i've ever had a pc case with a pci lock they just sound annoying to me like i don't even think i'd use it 
This is the workbench to add a water cooling block to the GPU. Okay. So I need to go exit this, I presume, and go here. So we got our own little workbench where we can mod things. This is awesome. You just paid 100 US dollars for Windows to be reinstated when they became corrupt. Why? You can literally, like, pay Microsoft directly for a key, install it via a stick for, like, $20. Now you have the GPU on the water cooling bench, we need to add a GPU block. First of all, we need to remove the screws and the heat sink. Oh, this is this is wicked. This is definitely new stuff. Four screws? Yeah, right, pal. <laughs> Wait, where's all the, um, the thermal strips? Normally, you have the radiator block, and then stuck to it is like a load of thermal strips that sit over the top of these VRMs, and then that has to be removed. And then you have to put the new ones back on before you put the block on it. Now we need to replace the thermal pads. Left click to zoom in. Oh, there we go. So it has got thermal pads. What, individual thermal pads? As if. They come as a strip. They don't come like that. Left click to exit. Apply some new thermal pads. Different colored ones. Look at that. Orange. Yeah, makes a difference. Next, we need to remove and replace the thermal paste. Thermal paste is an important part of PC building as it increases the efficiency of heat transfer between the CPU and its heat sink, helping to prevent the CPU from overheating. Make sure you always refresh the thermal paste when working on a customer's PC. Okay, cotton wool buds. This is amazing. Look at this. Hold left click and remove the old thermal paste. It's not doing anything. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> There's this very faint shadow that I've just seen that indicates that we're holding it, like, downwards and not like that. That's so weird. There you go. NVIDIA. Removed. Thermal paste. Little blob there. If you're new to thermal page, try putting a pea-sized dot in the center. Oh, we can just do that for the lols. Sufficient pace to play. <laughs> That's way too much. <laughs> uh, last thing to add is a GPU block. I was going to put a smiley face, but I wasn't feeling brave enough. Then it's ready to reassemble. Left click on the GPU to see the available blocks. Oh, an EK water block. Nice. Okay, that'll go in there. Look at that. Look at that. Like they've actually put the original equipment in. Do you know what, Imp? If it lets me do that later, I'm going to do it. So left click to add the GPU to your inventory. Okay. Back to the machine. Let's do this. Missing parts. GPU. Right. Install. PC parts. Graphics cards. There it is. Get that bad boy in there. Days of EVGA, indeed. Right, cabling. Install the cables. Why does it make a weird noise in my right headset when I do this? What's that all about? Piping. Oh boy. Complete the loop. We need to create a single loop to allow the water to flow around and cool all the water cool components. Let's start here. Hold left click to select this water pipe connector. 
Well, is that in or out? Where's the pump? Here's the pump. Is this in or is this out? Where are we going? CPU? Then from there to there? I presume that's out and it's going to go into the CPU. And then into a red. I'm not sure how this is working, to be honest. What is that? What is that bend? What is this? That's nasty. That's literally 90 degrees. That's horrible. It's like, ooh. <laughs> that looks so awful. You would just never do that. Like, these are nice straight runs, but this one is horrendous. Like, could he not have come out the top there? Why did he have to come out the bottom side? This is Dave's water cooling skills right now, isn't it? Nikolai, thank you for 17 months. Hell Tiger, thank you for 15. And Liverpool for me, thank you for 45. It wouldn't let me go from the top, but hey ho. Uh, install. Select a coolant color. Oh, I like this. Hang on. What color should we go for? So we've got like um opaque coolant. Let's go let's go NVIDIA fanboy mode. Opaque UV. Oh, we haven't got a UV lamp though, have we? Oh well. Nice, nice. I haven't, even, I haven't even plugged the power supply in and it's automatically pumping it round. That's just magic, that is. Well done. The GPU has been installed. It's now part of the water cooling loop. Replace the PCR lock side panel and make sure the PC can boot. Okay, so we go... Where's the um, removed components? That was it. PCI lock. The wait, where was that from? Where was the bay cover from? Oh well, it's probably not important. <laughs> Thank you for 11, 112 months in house. You and Thyrox just at one one two, otherwise known as the German Fire Department. Uh, right, we need to... How do I... Cable... There we go. Oh, I so need that upgrade point for this. This is horrendous. Okay, give it a boot. Wait, why is it... Why has it gone orange now? What the heck? I put green in there, didn't I? It's green here, but it's orange in the tank. How does that work? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So we can put it in the delivery area because it's basically done, isn't it? Which was... No. Out here somewhere. Wait, where did that one go? This place is called Tim's Red Hot Repairs. We need to start thinking about a, um, a name for this company. $270, that'll do. Oh, we get to overclock one. Dear Sir Madam, here at South Wirral Country Club, we host a very popular cheese and land soir part every year which sees our members face off against one another in classic titles such as Ultimate Strike Siblings. It's not inclined to... I, I'm not inclined to brag, but I should mention that last year I entirely owned the notorious proficient Duke of Norfolk in the final match. I'm sure you can therefore understand why my personal computer... Com, I can't talk. Why my personal computer needs to be in tip-top shape. The GPU is fine. It should be, as I paid upwards of $5,000 for it. But the CPU could do a little more oomph. If you could entice it to run faster, I'd be eternally grateful. Yours in anticipation, Robert Farrier, OBE. 
overclock to at least 4313 megahertz. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's... Uh, PC Repair Emporium is a bit too... Uh, we need something a bit more humorous. Should put it that way. <laughs> Nut and loose. We need something that, yeah. I'm not sure cable fires. Something like, you know, loose nut repairs or something. Like something that implies we're not going to do a complete job. Uh, Jordy Raccoon, thank you for 65 months. Right, not plugged in. I guess we've got to plug it in first. For this job, we need to overclock the company's CPU, which means making it run faster and stop frequency. Yep. Okay. Let's tediously plug this thing in. This is going to be my first skill point, is, is this. Switch on the PC. Do you even boot, bro? Holy F2 key. There we go. Uh, Jordy, thanks, 65. Um, settings. Welcome to buy this. Well, you can set the PC hardware and tweak them for more power. CPU overclock. Let's overclock. This menu allows you to overclock the CPU by raising the base clock and ratio. The voltage setting is used to stabilize the PC. But you need to be careful not to use too much or you could damage the CPU. Okay. CPU speed shows you how far fast it's running. Uh, multiplied by the base, yeah. So we need to do 4313, don't we, at least. So we need it. We kind of need 444 multiplier. Uh, you should use. Yeah, I thought if you mess with this, though, doesn't it upset the RAM timings? 38 months to do that. Thank you very much. Increase the core ratio to 44. Increase the CPU voltage to 135. As it runs faster, it requires more voltage, but don't go too high. You may damage it. Yeah. Go to settings, apply changes and restart. Yeah, exactly. So you don't want to mess with it. OCCT can be used to stress test the CPU and GPU after overclocking to check stability. It can also show if the CPU is getting thermally throttled from running too hot. The CPU will not run efficiently if it gets hot under load. On. Wait for the stress test to complete. Right, GPU temperature, CPU temperature. Those thermals are fine. You can you can overclock that way more. was easy take the PC back to the payment collection overclocking is complicated you can damage your hardware if your car is not taken within settings we recommend you experiment with overclocking in the game to see how far you can push the limits remember to use OCTT to test the stability you can also download using the USB drive to file in the tools section okay fine uh, exit remove Woo! Oh god, I'm so disoriented in this building. Collect. $320 for a bias tweak. That is daylight robbery. Mr. Bryazon, thank you for 33. It does indeed. Angry Fat Man, thank you for 20. I don't know, Zintas, I just need to get my brain oriented around the rooms. I'll be fine later. Right, this one is set all the RGB lighting to rainbow effect and set to walk mode. I put orange LEDs on my computer to match my goldfish. <laughs> That's what it is. Dave likes goldfish. 
that's that's it, isn't it? Next time I see him, I need to take a goldfish. Because that's the colour he loves. I recently expanded my aquarium to include a variety of other fish, and now my PC no longer matches. Can you do rainbow lights? Okay. Set all the RGB lighting to warp mode. Okay. Access the monitor to begin. Lighting app. Select all. Breathe. Rainbow. Walk mode. Make sure the PC is back in delivery area. Yep. That's it. I, I, I can't wait to see how much we're going to charge him for this. Save. Right, how much do you reckon? I reckon $120. No. <laughs> $220. It's literally fired up an app, change some settings and charge them $220. Oh my god. Vrome, thank you for tuning to 97 months. One last thing to do. Give your business a new name. Go back into the hallway. Left click on the business name panel. All right, hang on. Do we not have to do this one? Oh, that's coming tomorrow, isn't it? Back into the hallway. Is that here? Oh. This is the hallway, apparently. Right, this is... This is, this is tricky. This is tricky, like... What are we going to call this? We're clearly ripping people off. I mean, simplistically, like, rip off repairs, right? Give it some whack repairs. <laughs> Trotters Independent Traders, yeah. Nice abbreviation. <laughs> Bodget and Scarpa. <laughs> Rip off repairs or gone tomorrow repairs. <laughs> I think I like the idea of the name incorporating the fact that we are clearly ripping people off. Yeah. So, I mean, the obvious one is like overpriced. But that's that's too obvious. I bet you are in ultimate value. <laughs> Hardly. Totally legit repairs. Mm. Jeff Technologies. How about... Um, if you were starting a shop and you were like trying to attract people who've got a lot of money, You'd have to you'd have to put like the word exclusive in there or something, wouldn't you? Like, you'd have to make it sound really upmarket. Overcharged and undervolted. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Gucci repairs, yeah, that's that's that. I like that actually. No, naming is not easy. It really isn't. Like I like Gucci repairs. I like overcharged and undervolted.
Oh, diamonds. Are, diamonds a good one as well, isn't it? I saw you coming. Yeah. Cute repairs. We're not really a club, though, are we, NJ? Blackout repairs, lol. Hmm. Bits and pieces. I like that. It doesn't. It doesn't quite fit the bill, but I like. That's a good name, though, isn't it? Bits and pieces like that. <laughs> PC liquor repairs. What? What do you do to your computer? Hang on. If you take overcharged, undervolted, then you have what sounds like a plausible company name. You have OCUV Gucci repairs. And nobody knows what the OCV, OCUV stands for, except us. We know that that's overcharged, undervolted. But it sounds like a company, doesn't it? Like OCUV Gucci Repairs. How can we help you? <laughs> we'll go with that. That way we get the best of both names. Looks like you're now the proud owner of OCUV Gucci Repairs. Don't worry if you change your mind. You can rename your business at any time. Yeah, don't worry about it. Look at that. What a beautiful name. Do you get a naming fee? Only a 50% naming fee. Because the other guy said Gucci. OCUV Gucci Repairs. It genuinely sounds like a company. I'm taking my PC to OCUV. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, great name. Wait, what's that? We've got to go out through the door? Leave the workshop. Really? <clears throat> you don't need to buy any new parts yet. In the future, you may need to check that you've ordered the right thing. Yeah, okay. Click to end day. Do you have to save or is it auto save? Hope you slept well. We have a busy day ahead. You accepted a job yesterday. Customer's PC has arrived. Needs to be painted red. We'll take it to the workbench and get spraying. All right, let's go. Canada boot. Thank you for 17 months. Changing a workbench. For this job, you need to change to refit the workbench ready for case customization. Highlight the workbench and press B to change its type. What? Refit the bench. Okay. What a strange way of doing it. Why not just have like... Why not just have like a, more benches or something? Like a bench for each type. Why would you just like change the bench? It's so odd. Like, if you're going to spray it, you want to do it in a separate ventilated room, surely. Like <laughs> some guys here just... Do it working on the emails and you're spraying stuff? You can later. Oh, okay. I recently went to OCV UV repairs and put a 90 degree bend in my cooling pipes. Had to rate you three stars out of ten. To be honest, that's better than I'd hope you'd give us. <laughs> right, here we go. Customers work bench paints are red, select the paint. Okay, spray can. Please don't tell me we're just going to start spraying. We're not going to mask this off or something. Uh, let's do like that kind of red. Increase the nozzle size and make it easy to spray the whole machine. <laughs> what is this stupid? Apply on... A customer wants the case to be sprayed... What? So we're spraying the glass as well? Hold left click to spray the paint. Cover both sides, the front and the top. This is genuine madness. 
Use the left alt to adjust transparency. Okay. Use left control to adjust the nozzle size. Rotate, pan the camera. Scroll to zoom. Okay. It's one side done. We're literally spraying everything. What about that bit? <laughs> it's just something about this that just feels kind of odd. Can we leave an inspection hole like that? go is that done 86 percent you got to do the back now front that's just odd that whole thing just feels very odd None of it makes sense. Right. Uh, completed. Do we need to do anything else? Painted it red. Collect. Had a racing stripe. Left click on the boxes in the hallway to unpack your delivery. The contents will be added to your inventory. What did we order? I don't remember ordering anything. A tablet. Will assist you in managing your business. Read emails, shop, run apps while on the move. Okay. <coughs> Uncle Tim has sent you a brand new tablet. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, look at this at the bottom now. Right, that's a good point, actually. Where do I need to put myself and the chat so we don't interfere? Um, let's get the overlay fixed. That probably needs to go back up. Um, hmm. Maybe the chat can sit there. I don't know where the best place is for me, to be honest. You've not noticed any problem. I feel weird sat in the middle. <laughs> uh, See, if I sit there, I'm blocking that now. I could try here. Let's see how we get on with that. Do I have to save this? Save game. Looks like it's automatically saving it. Yeah, it's not auto save. Yeah, it's doing some kind of auto save. <coughs> Open your new tablet. Woo! Your new tablet is ready for use. It's packed with apps, has a snazzy camera, and can be used on the move to manage your time more effect. On the move? Where are we going? If you're not sure to start, start with the pre-installed Decorator app. Okay. Decorator. Welcome to the Decorator app. Big Bob has agreed to redecorate your workshop for free. You can change the floor, ceiling, walls, posters, desks, and many other features. Let's see what's available. What is this? Can you fix that horrible ceiling? Rustic tiles. Oh, look at that. Future. Look at that. That's sick. Boring. That's not as good as that one. How do we apply that? Do we have to click on anything? Oh, he's done it. 
What the? The guy just came in and completely replaced our ceiling. All right. Okay, then. <laughs> That's amazing. Wish your iPad did that. You're not joking. That is like... I can't believe that's free. That's just bonkers cool, that is. That should be like an end game item. Well, I need to do the floor. This floor's disgusting. Decorator app. Floor detected. Futuristic clean. Blimey. Ooh. I like the, the wood complements the high tech ceiling. Rustic carpet. Nasty vintage wood. Eee. Not sure about that one. That's a bit weird. You can change as much as you like. Yeah, that's kind of odd. Um, close that. The walls. Temporary. What the? That's bizarre. That's like the inside of an alien spaceship. That's just the weirdest thing. Well, quite like that. So you've got your, your classic, classic floor, classic wall, like this. Two-tone painted brick, nice. And then you've got your super high-tech ceiling. <laughs> oh, it's not changed this though, interestingly. So it just changes the workshop. What about the door? Can you change the door? Decorator app is disabled in this area. Oh, it doesn't let you walk through, look. So it only applies in here. Oh wow, we need different tables. Very nice. Some very nice tables there. You can have like individual ones by the look of it. Oh no, hang on. So that that's the walnut, and then that one, you could have a different one if you wanted to. Or you could have like two walnuts over there. And then this side you could do, I don't know, two greys or something. A bit weird this app. Straw front is later. Okay. Standard office workbench. Well, that's nasty. Futuristic. Why do I keep stepping back? The app's a bit odd, but anyway, so what we've got is um, two styles over here, different style over there, and then a different style over here. Quite like that. Change the floor, yeah. I don't know, I didn't deliberately change the floor. It kind of happened. No, it's on what I put it on, isn't it? The vintage wood. I think that's right. Uh, what else have we got? Email, music player, RAM whiz, select wallpaper, part ranking. Oh, good old part ranking. So you've got the i7, is that it? Does it only go up to the i7? What about the i9? Like, what about... Wait, surely not. Where's all the Ryzen stuff? Like Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7... Was it the lighter wood? Or this one? Or that one? Was it that one? Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a bit more cozy. I hope so, Rome. I hope they've got the newer stuff. Email. Here we go. Nine in the inbox. $120 to remove viruses. Um, are they completed? Why are they still in the inbox then? A broken air cooler. I'm so stoked to see a new repair shop in town. Totally sucks what happened to the last one. I hope they catch the guy who did it. I hope so, Cynic. Anyway, the air cooler in my computer is busted, and the whole thing is really uncool. Like, literally uncool. <laughs> I can feel the heat coming off it. All right, we'll take that. Some jobs require new additional replacement components, so let's order a new air cooler for this customer. When buying components, be careful to, not own, uh, be careful to only buy components which are as good or better than the customer wants. How do we know what he needs? Wait, how do we know that this is fine? Add basket. The task tracker allows you to allocate parts to a specific job. This window can be brought up by interacting with the icon in the checkout, delivery section, or inventory. I'm confused. How, how do we know that that is the air cooler for him? Leveled up. Congrats, you've reached level two. You've unlocked... Oh, here we go. You've unlocked 6th gen intel, 7th gen intel, rising quad. Okay, so as we level up, we will get more stuff. The next milestone, level three, unlocks rising 6 core, intel KB lake, zen plus 2nd gen, colored cables, and faster ramp. Accepted. So I take it that's pretty much all we can do. So we can't do anything with this yet, can we? I just noticed I got rent to pay on the calendar. Uh, that's new. Paint it red. Much appreciated from the new case. Exactly what I asked for. Unfortunately, it was also so perfectly matched the red that I had used to paint the walls that I tripped over it and landed on my nose. My next project will be about the interface between technology and pain. Okay. Thanks for assisting with my virus problem. The computer did indeed seem to run more smoothly after your ministrations. That's a word nobody uses. However, I now find myself in the teeth of another difficulty. I have no idea what an SSD is. I wrongly assumed it to be a rather delicate medical issue, but a computer literate friend assured me that uh, mine is broken and needs to be replaced. He has kindly allowed me to use his laptop to send this massive, to send this missive, but I'm leery of trying his patience too far. Could you see your way to clear the replacing part from me as soon as possible? Replace the SSD. No idea what size it is. Although I suppose we can look in here now. 120 gig of data. So we need to buy another one of those, don't we? A 120 gig a data SSD. Okay. Accept that. And then if we go to the shop, we can find storage and then 120 gig, we can bring it right down. Brand type SSD. 
Add to basket. Add to basket and assign to job. Uh, replace SSD. That's that one. Oh, I see. So this is a new thing. So instead of just buying a load of stuff and then you try and work out which job it was from, you can say at this stage, right, this part I'm buying here will go on this job here. Confirm. Next day delivery. Sounds good. Email. What's up? What's up, mate? You good? I bought this PC for playing music at my house parties. Proper cool. We call him DJ Computer. Ha 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 ha. DJ Computer in the house. What what? Can you paint the outside case green so it contrasts with the sick red lights inside? But don't spray the glass because I want to see the bling. Cheers, Jay. Oh, God. Paint the case green. Do not customize the glass. Right. We'll do that. We'll do that for you, mate. In it, bruv. Wicked. Have we got any jobs to do today? Okay, what's the um We got no calendar? Accepted. Broken cooler. Did we get any parts delivered? Yes, we did. We got the broken cooler. Nice. Let's go for that. Cables coming out. Clean the GPU. We want tools, thermal paste, there it is. That should be enough. Is this game only sold through their website? It's only sold on the Epic Games launcher. It's an exclusive title, I'm afraid. Dave! We already did. Dave, we already, um, you missed it, mate. As part of the tutorial, we had to remove the cooling block off a 3080 and replace it with an EK water blocks cooler and then put it back in the PC and pipe it all together with the most horrendous piping. Like literally, the card was like that. The upper section went to the tank and then the lower section looped back on itself and went up to the red. Like literally, all you had to do was come out the top but the game went, no, you're coming that way. It looks a mess. CPU cooling. Cable. Check it can boot. Nope, nope, come out of that. Remove components. Yeah, I don't know, Dave, what it is. It's a bit weird, though. That seems to work fine. Jobs are good. Parts budget, $50, that'll do. Right, that one's tomorrow, that one's tomorrow, I think. Don't think there's anything else we can do. 
Lucky Shot, thank you for 35 months. Uh, Amu Lahana, thank you for 81. Mike Yick, thank you for a year. Canada Boot, thanks for 17 months. Are the people out there routinely repaced the CPUs? I don't think so. Like, you would never do it unless you had a thermal problem. You know what I mean? Like, if it's work, you don't fix something that isn't broken. I don't know if I should de-storm. You know what I mean? I'm a bit... Like, I'd rather archive them. I don't like this deleting thing. Paint it red with done. Can we not just archive these? Flagged. Why is there no option to delete all flagged? You bought a new laser cutter. <laughs> Why, Dave? Why did you buy a new laser cutter? Unable to delete a flagged email. What? What's the point of flagging it then? How do I... This is stupid. How do I delete the stuff that I flagged? Lol, Dave, you, <laughs> you love your toys. Use the flags to the to-do list to unflag the completed items. Oh, really? So you don't use flags to flag things and then delete them? I literally can't do that now because it's flagged. Okay. Odd mechanic, but whatever. Can't delete multiple items at once, apparently. Uh, yeah, $400 rent bill coming up. Where do I do my skills? Like, how do I... What's the section for upgrading your skills and stuff? Hang on. I looked at my watch and a picture of Dave's face came up, so I suspect he's actually watched at me something. I know what it is for you, Dave. I've got you worked out, mate. Every year... Every year this happens with Dave. So what's happened is we've got near Christmas and he's basically managed to convince Sarah that if he had a new laser cutter, he could make some really cool, like, Santa gifts. So on the basis that he buys himself a brand new toy, he could then make Sarah some amazing Santa stuff, right? <laughs> That's what it is. I like your thinking, Dave. Actually, I've got to admit, these are quite cool. Look at them. They're quite cool, aren't they? Pretty much him. That's exactly what he's doing. So, like, well, if I had a brand new laser cutter, I could make you some really nice stuff. Oh, go on then. Go and buy your laser cutter. Yeah! A laser cutter for Christmas. Woo! -hoo. Now I can cut things even better. She hasn't worked it out yet. Amazing. <laughs> 